This is the Hydra Gun, and it's a company based out of Singapore that's arguably one of the most popular massage guns in the world because it's sold all across Asia. I know it's very popular, but let's take a look, see if it's worth it for you. So first things first, their marketing is pretty top notch. I can tell you that they even sent me this box with a personalized sticker on it, talking about before you buy. Obviously, they sent it to me for free for your review. Now, I don't judge my opinions off of what they send me, so don't you worry about that. First things first, as you can see, I'm going to cut over here and look right on top. This this, this is not very nice, but see how my, my letter is already falling off, so that's kind of a bummer after using this for two, three weeks um, and not really carrying the case around too much. My letter is falling off. But otherwise, it's a nice texture and very nice case. I don't care too much about that branding um, in that sense. Anyway, if it falls off, it falls off. Also, look at this. Nice little personalized note. Now, I doubt they would send that to everyone, obviously. But either way, they did send it to me. And uh, it's kind of weird opening a package with your face on it. Uh, but hey, that's where we are. But I mentioned the branding. Now, Look at this. This is not only a very nice manual with color and um, you know great design, great style, but it's also printed on like that metallic. Obviously, the, the lights are picking it up so much because it is kind of the reflective metallic paper. Um, so it's very nice, very high quality. Talks about the different things. So I mean, very nice manual. They did put some time into that. In the package, you also get some spare gaskets, which I've never had to use any spare gaskets on any of my 60 plus massage guns, but I also have a lot of massage guns I use and test out. Now, here's the Hydra gun. It comes with six different heads, six different attachments, which are fantastic. Let's go through them really quick. So first things first, we have the ball head. Now this is just your kind of standard foam head. Nothing out of the ordinary. If you've ever used a massage gun that has one like this, you know exactly what to expect there. Same with the bullet, uh, just your standard bullet point. Uh, it is hollowed out. I think that just kind of helps keep the casing and every materials, you know, less and everything lighter. Uh, it does have the nice gaskets on all of these heads, which is very nice to have that included. And we have the fork, which again, is also Hollowed out and very nice, very light, but very strong. No give at all right there, which is kind of what you want. And then moving on, we have a couple stainless steel heads, which I've talked about these before. I kind of enjoy them for, you know, you could either freeze them and then, you know, have an, a cold therapy session in a way. But generally, therapy is more for warming up your muscles. But I have done it for that before. It feels good on tendonitis. But also, these are great for putting lotion on, or if you're, for instance, allergic to the plastic, I suppose. But I like to put like lotions or different, uh, I've heard of people using CBD type, you know, lotion on those. So easy to wipe off, easy to clean up. So those are both pretty much just your standard flat heads. And then you also have your plastic flat head, which is also hollowed out. Now, one thing I'll point out is, see how this one's kind of rounded? Um, that's to kind of mimic a ball realistically where this flat edge, one thing I love about like this flat edge or even this one a little bit, but this one you can use as like, as you're scraping across your bone here, um, for tendonitis, it kind of gives you a little lip to catch. And I, I really kind of appreciate that having a head that you can actually have that little lip on to actually scrape. I actually found myself over you know the past year, especially as I've got tendonitis, I'm getting older and I don't always warm up properly. I get some inflammation and I've enjoyed that edge for that exact reason. Now, one thing I'm not personally a huge fan of, but of course that's maybe because I'm in the United States, but the plug is not normal for my country, right? But they do include this adapter. In fact, it's multiple adapters that you have to take apart. And they're kind of interesting, actually. Very creative design that they both interlock and then fit in this tiny little case that you can then, you know, put in this case. So, I mean, I appreciate that the fact that they include this and then now I can travel the world and use this wherever I go. So that's pretty sweet, but now, when I plug in my adapter, 
I got this huge honking thing hanging out the wall um, and it doesn't fit in the case properly without actually, you know, putting it back together, right? So it doesn't really fit in that, that little crevice. So I have to take it apart. Now, again, I, I don't want to be a complainer, and, you know, first world problem, right? But at the same time, I'm just pointing out the facts. If you get this Hydra gun and you live in the United States or maybe another country that does not have that plug, then you're going to have to uh, deal with these adapters. Now, the good news about dealing with those adapters is you don't have to use them very often because the battery life on this massage gun is exceptional. Now, there's massive batteries in this handle, and I kind of appreciate this style because you can kind of tell that the batteries are in a triangle-type shape. I'm going to try to give you a little bit of a peek on that, but, you know, it's not a perfect circle, and it kind of comes to a point. You know, this is kind of a point, and it just feels good in the hand. Uh, it, it Like, natural and, you know, more ergonomic than most massage guns. So I actually really appreciate that fact, and I've always enjoyed a handle like this one. And I keep saying I've always enjoyed. We're going to get to that in a little bit. Make sure you stay tuned. And speaking of staying tuned, if this channel or this video is helping you at all, please consider you know, using the link down below, buying me a cup of coffee. It's literally 2.45 in the morning right now. And that's because my whole family is sleeping right now. The kids are home for the summer. I can't record during the day. So I stay up late at night to make sure I can provide good quality content for you guys and give you the 100% honest reviews. So if this video is helping you, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or tonight's caffeine of choice, which was a rock star with plenty of caffeine as well. Uh, or you could also hit the like, subscribe, comment. Those are all free as well. So thank you. Thanks for your support. So with that great battery life and huge batteries in there, it does come in with a little bit of heft at 2.3 pounds or 1.04 kilograms. But, you know, I, that's willing to sacrifice a little bit when you know, it's metal build, Great build quality, great battery life. It has to come with some heft, right? But it's not so heavy that you're gonna really have a hard time lugging it around. Now, I personally, I don't even take my case with me very often. As I mentioned before, it hasn't hardly left my house because I usually just throw a head in my massage gun, throw it in my backpack, that's what I do. And this one really hasn't even gotten scratched up over the last few weeks, which I really appreciate because that's this nice, like, aluminum type build this whole thing is all aluminum um, so i really appreciate that then it kind of comes into like a plastic on the bottom nice rubber grip that doesn't feel like it's going to shift on me i can't spin it or anything like that and then plastic on the bottom as well now this is a nice rubber interface on the back and one thing i appreciate about it is just the simplicity of it so we have the speeds going across as you can see it has six different speeds ranging from 1200 all the way up to 3200 beats per minute and just so you know it also comes with an 18 month warranty so that's kind of a jackpot and then we have battery life on the bottom and then up here is like a force meter so i have this head in here i'm going to turn it on so you can kind of see what's going on i hit power on we get two out of three battery lights obviously i've been using this it's got a few marks on it there so two out of three battery lights are on, and then as I push this, you can see the head starting to go, right? So now, as I start to apply pressure, watch these batter this pressure sensor. So I'm gonna get it a little higher here, so you can kind of see. So we're at level five right now, and just so you know, the microphone is just out of frame there. So I'm literally one foot away to kind of give you an idea of how loud or I should say quiet this massage gun is this is fantastic for me I really appreciate a volume like this which we're going to also get to in a second but as I apply some force here check this out you can kind of have that force meter Ugh, it's very strong but as I apply force it kind of shows you how much force you're applying now that can be really handy when you're doing a massage on someone else uh, I've never really found it too useful when I'm using it on my own body or it's not even in the right position when I'm using it on, on myself. But uh, sometimes when you're using it to massage on someone else, you don't really know how hard you're digging in. So sometimes that can come in handy. 
Not all massage guns have that. As I mentioned, this massage gun is very quiet, especially for how much power it has, and that is very important because when you're sitting on the couch and you can use your massage gun and you're watching a movie with your family and they're not yelling at you to get out of the room because it's so loud, that means you can recover more often, right? The more you can use it, the more you can recover. The more you can recover, the faster you can get back to the next workout or whatever that may be. So I think being quiet is very underrated, right? I think it has to be quiet for me to recommend it. So let's check out how quiet this is. So I have this sound meter on my phone and as I'm talking, you know, it's, it's jumping up to mid 60s to 70s. So let's see how quiet this massage gun is sitting inches away. And now we're at that 60. But as I talk, you can see that we're still in that 60 to 70 range, which means this is lower than normal conversation. Now, it might be a little bit louder, you know, as I was slapping my hand or going across your arm, or especially if it's skin and not actual shirt or something like that, you might hear it a little bit louder. But the fact that it's low, quieter than normal conversation levels, especially on the low speeds, it's super quiet. That's key. So now that we know the massage gun is quiet and great build quality with a lot of accessories, let's see, does it actually have the power? So I breaks power down into speed, amplitude, and stall force, and that allows us to make sure we have enough power to do the job of a massage gun, because if it doesn't, then you might as well throw this thing away or just not buy it in the first place. Now speeds, we've already touched on that. There's six different speeds ranging from 1200 to 3200 beats per minute. Now that's perfect, not tons of speeds like 20 and not just like one or two speeds or just an on and off. So it's perfect to have that full range. But what about the amplitude? It says on their website that it has 12 millimeters of amplitude, but when I measured it, it actually came in closer to the 10 millimeters. Now I'm still checking in with them to see what they say about that, but according to my measurements, I'm only seeing 10 millimeters of amplitude. Now that doesn't discourage me at all. I'm okay with the 10 millimeters of amplitude as long as they update their website to say that they're only 12 millimeters or 10 millimeters of amplitude because I've personally recommended the massage gun that only has seven millimeters of amplitude. As long as it's enough to still punch you, but stall force is an even more important factor if you ask me. Now, if it's one thing I've learned about stall force is to never believe the marketing team because sometimes I've seen low numbers, but then I test it and it's really strong or vice versa, they say it's super strong and it's just not. Now, the Hydra gun is very strong and the numbers come and prove it. In fact, I even have a video where I compared some of the strongest massage guns I've ever used and used this same method where I take my pillow and my bathroom scale and I push down and average it out. And if anything that hits in the mid 20s or higher, you're looking really strong, kind of your, you know, above average, well above average massage guns that I highly recommend. Now, these massage guns are over 30 pounds on that test and that is extremely strong and I definitely recommend this one to the athletes out there that are looking for a strong massage gun. This one will not disappoint you. And yes, in my testing it's even stronger than the Theragun. Now this massage gun comes in at $300, so what about the overall value of that? Now this is a very high quality massage gun, metal build, great quality heads, unique heads, I mean it's hard to kind of beat this kind of quality and $300, I mean, that's starting to get kind of expensive, but the Theracun's even more expensive. This one's stronger, this one's quieter, has a metal body. The only difference is this has 10 millimeters of amplitude and that has 16. And I, that doesn't bother me in the slightest. So $300 for this is not a horrible deal, but it's not a great deal either, I don't think. But let me know what you think. Is this the right massage gun for you? I think it's a pretty good one. So leave the comments down below. Let me know what questions you have. Till next time, thanks for watching. See ya.